first video that I've edited, second video that I've recorded. Um, I haven't posted another live video on YouTube yet. Um, so just a quick disclaimer, I'm terrible at technology and editing, so I'm figuring it all out. However, the point is to get a good workout in and follow along with me. So we've got that covered. So this video is the first workout from my eight week at home program. Um, if you haven't already done so, you can go to my website, um, newofitness.com and you can download the program. So I did this this workout live through Instagram. So that explains my chatting all the way through to folks who joined the live workout, but I also filmed it at the same time. A uh, reason being a lot of girls mentioned that they really like working out with me live. So people are hesitant to download the home workout program just because they enjoy working out with me, which is nice. But I'm gonna have to scale back the lives, but I wanna provide um, as many resources as I can to help those who do my programs. So by recording these videos, I'm just dying right there with you. I am doing this program as well. So I'm making um, just a couple videos available to the public from my, the public, <laughs> just to, couple of videos available to people who have not downloaded the program just so they can get a taste of it as well and see if they enjoy it and then they can think about investing in the program. So I hope you enjoy. Um, if you have downloaded the program and you're working out with me through this video, I did not get to the last circuit or the bonus burnout. So you will have to do those two last things on your own, but I know you can do it. Um, other than that, feel free to send me a DM on Instagram at Fitness or send me an email at mynewofitness at gmail.com. Other than that, thank you so much for trusting me and working out with me and bear with me in my poor vid video shooting and editing, but I really hope you enjoy and get a good workout in. Thanks. I have a Cottage Classics playlist. We'll see how it goes. <gasps> okay, I'm gonna start my, time, or my timer for the warm up. Just follow along. We're gonna start with high knees. In three, two, one. And 
10 seconds, we're gonna switch to the other side. Switch sides, I'm just gonna move this bar while you guys switch sides. About nine seconds, we're gonna do split jumps, alternating. Um, modification is reverse lunges. So, let's go. So this is what a modification looks like for those who are new. And if you're comfortable jumping, we're gonna do split jumps. Okay, in five seconds we're gonna do burpees. I'll demo the modification first. Three, two, one, so modification, step down, step out, step in, and up, and other than that, do whatever variation of burpees that you like to do. This is the last warm-up exercise. Pause the music. Catch your breath. So again, for those of you, I, don't, I see a couple new names. Um, for those of you who are just joining or new, today's workout is from my day one of my eight-week program. It's a little more focused on strength. You will. There's. A little bit of cardio, not really. Who knows? I seem to just get out of breath from walking up the stairs, so we'll see. Um, the way I make my workout programs, they're extremely effective if you just do body weight or you add weights and bands. Um, what's important, especially in quarantine, is we're focusing on our like mind to muscle connection, and what that means, just really focusing on our form and the muscles we want to work. And just from being in quarantine, I found that the muscles that I want to grow have been growing a lot more these past two months than it has been the past three years, just from taking a little more mental effort. So, basically, we're gonna do three exercises, rest for about 30 seconds or so, and then repeat four times. So I'm changing up the format of my day one a little bit, but None of you guys really know that because you didn't purchase, um, you didn't download it, which is fine. Okay, so the first um, try set, what we're doing is goblet one and a half squats. We have 10 reps, so feel free to use a weight or use a band or just body weight's completely fine. So I'm gonna use a weight. Um, your weight's up here. Um, if you don't have weights, fill up a heavy backpack. Um, I find that extremely helpful as well. So what that is, is your feet are out a little bit wider. Here, and you're going straight down, help them up on the side, straight down, come halfway up, down, all the way up. So we're really focusing on our glutes. Then after that, no rest, we have 10 power jumps. A modification for the power jumps is do, let's just say about 15 pulses, or basically until I'm done my power jumps, so stay low the whole time. And then we have curtsy squats, 10 aside, so you can hold the weight or you have your band on. And what that is, is you're going backwards but on diagonal, literally like you're curtsy, curtsying, yeah, focusing on your glute and coming up. And we're doing 10 aside. And then we're gonna rest for like 40 seconds. We'll see how I'm feeling. And then we're gonna repeat it. Actually, we'll just repeat it three times because there are there's a few um, triceps we have here. So again, just the format I wanted to try for today. It won't be like this the whole week, but I just want to see how it would go. That's fine. 
So whenever I'm like lifting on my own, I just use a, a stopwatch, and I just pay attention to the time, and that like counts my rest times. I don't use interval timers for these types of workouts. So we're gonna start. Both. Okay, I remember. My memory isn't good, but it's on my phone. Okay, we're gonna start with a one and a half goblet squat. We have 10 reps. Okay. Remember, you can just do body weight as well. We're gonna, do, we're gonna start right now. All the way down, halfway up. One. So brace your core. Your weight's a little more than your heels. Two. Three. Slow and control. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Two more. Nine. Ten. Down. Do more power jumps. Do ten. Fix my camera. Um, oh, thanks, Ma. For everyone to say, just keep doing you. Okay. We have about 20 more seconds of rest. We need to do all the spots. So, everything you do, you want to brace the core. Most of my exercises focus more on the glutes. Your quads and hamstrings do kick in. But, um, one, I want to help give you nice thumbs, nice booties. And two, if your glutes fire properly, it protects almost every joint in, in your body. Um, I had knee problems last summer and it was because my glutes weren't firing correctly. So it's really the priority and then the other is the byproduct. <laughs> okay. Let's do goblet squats. One and a half squats. Let's go. Three, two, one. Two. Three. Especially at the halfway point, give your glutes an extra squeeze. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, 
10 power squats. Or jump, sorry.
Stay with me. Eight. Oh. This style of workout, it's harder for me to talk because I have to count. So I just have to count and talk at the same time. Let me see what we got next here. Okay. So you need your couch or your chair or your bench. It's gonna be hard for me because you're too tall, but we're gonna figure it out. So basically, first we have step ups, ten aside. So basically, all your weights in like your glute and your quad and the leg that's on your chair, couch, or bench, you can hold weight. I'm going to start off with no weights um, because if you're not used to doing these ex this exercise, it's tough to mentally figure out. But basically, like this foot here, it's barely doing anything. You're using your glute and your quad to load yourself up and slowly lower down. So hope that makes sense. If you don't have a chair or a bench or a couch, do reverse lunges. Like so. So tight inside. And then we have crisscross jumps. These are kind of fun. We have 15. We've done these before. So you go down and touch the ground come up and cross over, so that's one, two, three, all the way to 15. Um, if you're not comfortable jumping, I would do a squat, so just squat down and come up and do a little crisscross, like so. Then, we have monster walks, 12 each way. Um, so, you could do 12 each way or six, 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 and six. And we're doing these, I can't remember if I meant front and back or left and right. But we're going to do left and right. Um, so that is your near low squat position here. If you have a band, I highly suggest putting your band on. And we're just going to stay in the squat. Really load our glutes here. And do six steps or 12. So it would either be 12 left, 12 right. Or six left, then right, left and right. So you're going to grab a band. Um, I got fresh bands from Amazon, thanks to you gals. Okay, so we have the step ups from the side, crisscross drums 15, 12 monster walks. I have to say that because my memory is shit. Put this guy back in. We're gonna do step ups. In three, two, one. So we load up, slowly lower down. Hello, Pino. Three. I can't look up or I'm gonna hit my head. Four. Five. I can't see Pina right now, but she's here. Eight. Nine. What's up? Ten. Other side. One. I haven't done these in a really long time. I kind of miss them. Three. Slow control. Four. Five.
to 10. I'm at four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 12, one, two, 15. I can't play, people. Monster walks. So you have 12 each way, or, oh my gosh, this band is really fresh. Or six each way, twice. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna break it. One. Say hello. Five. Six. Five. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. You can hold weight as well. So I forgot to mention that earlier.
in this format for the lives. Hopefully you guys are doing all right too.
um, fat, fat feet. We have 30. We've done these like once or twice. Essentially, you're sprinting on the spot as fast as you can. I want a strong upper body, intentful, purposeful arms. Don't just like go through the motions. I want you to have like tension all the way up. And then next we have glute bridges. So you can put a weight on, I guess, your stomach, your hips. Band is excellent for glute bridges as well. And we have 15. So we've done these before. So you're laying on your back, feet on the ground, and you're activating. So strong core first, activating your glutes to push your body up and giving them an extra squeeze here at the top. And especially if you have a band, pull your knees apart so you're getting it more in your outer glutes here and then lower. We're gonna do 15. So what do we have again? I don't know if we have side to side, fast steps, glute bridges. Okay. Let me just put on my happy music. Eight, eight, nine, 
bunny nest in my backyard. I found it out because Pino found them. Don't worry, everyone's fine. But the bunnies have fur now and they're so cute. I have to protect them. Pino won't eat them, she just wants to play. I caught her like, she grabbed one of the baby bunnies and she, it looked like she was licking a dead mouse. And then I got closer. And he was still alive. I had to save him. So, that's what's going on in my life right now. All right, folks. Hope everyone is hanging in there. We have about 10 more seconds of rest. I'm gonna do those exercises one more time. Four seconds, three, Two, let's go. One, so knees over the baby toes, push them out a bit. Should also feel a stretch, well I do anyhow, it's because I have tight hamstrings. But I feel a stretch in my hamstrings too. And it's five, five, six, six, Seven, seven, eight, eight. One more each side. Great, fast feet. modifications and to explain what I mean by certain exercises so I'll still be with you a bit and you will never be lost and I'm always available for questions, comments, concerns. But if you do decide to download it, it's 50% off until Friday. Just so you're aware. I think I have six more, and then I can't count and talk. Yeah, my glutes are burning. There we go. The dumb is on the screen, so. You know, I have to work out. Not everyone can be as naturally as Jack as me. Okay. We have time for at least one more. We're gonna do one more and then we'll see if we have time for the bonus workout. Um, so first we have kneeling into four pulse squats. 
Oh, I like this one. Sorry. <laughs> Just gonna pause the music so you can hear me. Stood up too fast. Okay. We got. First, we have kneeling into four pulse squats. So feel free to hold a weight. I'm gonna hold a. I feel like this will be too heavy. You can hold something if you want, but essentially what it looks like is you're kneeling down and you're stepping up. One, two, and you're pulsing out. Four pulses. Three, four, and kneel back down. So that's one. We're doing it ten times. So our glutes are gonna be burdened. And then we have squat to crossover touches, ten aside. So it's just a bodyweight squat. Um, if your balance is kind of shaky, just stand near like a wall or something you can lean against. You're doing a bodyweight squat and you're coming up and touching your toe. And we're doing ten of side. So this one is more of a cardio exercise. So you can do this a little faster. Just make sure you're getting low, full range of motion. If the kick is a little too much, do a squat and do um, like knee to opposite elbow. You know, one of these guys. And then we have clamshells, 12 aside. So you can use a band or body weight, or you can even put like, some sort of weight on your hip here. I'm just gonna angle myself this way a little bit. Um, I use it a lot for glute activation as well. And essentially you're activating your outer and upper glute to lift your quad, and then you're giving it an extra squeeze here at the top. It doesn't feel like a lot, but it's extremely effective when it gets like those little glute muscles that you don't normally work working. And two, kind of just gives you a nice little round shape. <laughs> the bonus part. And I actually did those exercises a lot when I hurt my knee because my glutes weren't firing right, so it's really helpful to improve your glute firing patterns, which is more important. But it's still nice to have a little shape. Okay, so I don't know if we'll have time for the bonus burnout. Actually, we might. You know what, let's just get going and we'll see. What did I say? Kneeling, and then toe touches, and then clamp child, we have 12 aside. Okay, I'm just gonna hold a little weight for this one. Okay, so we got 10 of these. Let's go. Step up, four pulses. One, two, three, four, kneel down. So your weight's in your heels as usual. And really focus on firing those glutes. Like almost like you're sitting back here. And it is helpful if you do have a little weight to balance yourself out so you're not using your quads quite as much, but it's okay if you are. I think this is five. Again, you can't count. Hard to stand. So we're doing 12 aside. 
You're gonna put your hand on your glute to really focus on it. Squeeze. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, nine, twelve. Normally I would be able to get my knee higher, but this band has a lot of resistance. It's fresh out of the box. Three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, we're going to rest 30 seconds here. I want to see if we at least have time for a couple rounds of the bone to burn out. Since you're going to pick me off after an hour. I know I can jump back on, but it's just nicer if we stay in slow here. We have about 12 seconds left of rest. Starting with the kneeling to the pulse squats. Yeah. In three, two, one. Three, four. I'm going to shut up here in this one so I don't lose track of my counting. I'm pretty sure this is four. And now we're on five. Six. Yikes. Come on, guys. We got this. Do it 
I guess it's a bonus for a reason. Okay. About 10 more seconds. And we're gonna do our last little spurt of exercises. My glutes and legs are definitely on fire. Like I feel like a million pounds. Okay. Let's go. You. Alright, ten of these guys. One, two, three, four. And especially when it gets hard, this is when you get better. Is when you push through. When your mind is like, please stop, you're killing me. So your body can actually keep going. So we're getting better here mentally and physically. I think it's a five, I don't know. Six. Seven. Round. You know what to do. Thank you so much for joining me. Just in case I don't get to say goodbye. Um, let me know. Shoot me a message if um, you like this format or if you want me to do more of this format. Again, I just wanted to. Again, I'm starting my workout program, so it's a selfish workout here, but also wanted to try it out live. So I think that's 10. Lost track. Do clean shells. We have a minute left here before Instagram is going to kick me off. Seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, and we're fine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Well, thank you so much for joining me, guys. It really means a lot, honestly. And these, it's done. Well, YouTube workout pals, it's my second video that I've done, or that I'm posting here, so just playing around with shooting and angles and just figuring out technology because I'm terrible at it. Um, but other than that, thank you so much for joining. I hope you got a good workout in. Um, feel free to shoot me a message on Instagram at Ali Newo Fitness, Ali as in bowling alley, Newo, N-E-W-O Fitness. Um, just with your feedback or questions, would love to hear from you. And yeah, and with that, I'm wishing you ha <laughs> wishing you happiness, health, and safety today and always. Bye.